Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just be logged into your credentials and once done with that, just be come back over here, click on the checkbox and then just be click on agree and continue. Now just be come back over here, click on the task number one, scroll down and here you can see this link. So just simply open this link in incognito window like this way. Wait for a second. Click on this enable button over here. Now this thing is going to take a couple of seconds to enable this API. So just simply wait for that. And finally, this API is enabled. Now just me come back over here, scroll down a little bit. Now just me open this link in incognito window like this way. Wait for a second. Now just me click on this checkbox and then just me click on this continue. Now it is going to take a couple of seconds, so just me wait for that. And it's finally done. Now just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress. You will get a green tick over here without any issue. Now for the task number two, just simply open this link in incognito window like this. Wait for a second now. Click on this cross. Now just simply click on this create an app over here like this way. Now just simply scroll down. Now here you can see chat option. So just simply click on this select over here like this way. Now for the company name and the agent name, just simply come back over here. Scroll down a little bit and from here just simply copy this name carefully. Copy like this. Do not copy this last full stop. Just simply copy like this. Come back over here and just simply paste over here. And now just simply paste the same name over here like this way. Now just simply click on this continue over here. Now just simply click on this create and from here just simply choose the cloud storage. Just simply click on this select button like this way. Now for the path come back over here scroll down a little bit and from the point number eight just be copy this path carefully do not copy any extra space otherwise you might face an unnecessary error over here just be paste and you will get a green tick over here like this way now make sure that it must be unstructured document and then just be click on this continue button like this way now for the data store name again come back over here now just be copy this name carefully come back over here and paste over here like this way now just be click on this create now it is going to take a couple of seconds so just be wait for that And it's finally done. Now just simply click on this radio button like this way and then just simply click on this create button. Now this thing is going to take a couple of minutes so just simply wait for that. And it's finally done. Now if you just simply come back over here, scroll down a little bit and click on this check my progress. On your first attempt, you might not get a full score over here. But if you get a green tick over here, that's a very good thing. But if you're not, no need to worry because lab take time to update a score on the task number two. Okay, now just simply scroll down. Now just simply open this link in incognito window of the task number three. Just simply come back over here. Wait for a second. 
Now just simply click on this, like this way and wait for a second. Okay, now I request you please pay attention over here. Here we have to make a three changes and if you make a one single mistake, then you will not get a score on the task number four and task number six. Okay, and one more thing I'm again saying, if you not get a green tick on the task number two, no need to worry, wait for a couple of seconds, you will get a full score on the task number two without any issue. Okay, now here what we have to do, first of all, just simply click on this manage option like this way. Now just simply scroll down. Now here you can see integration, just simply click over here like this way. Now just simply click on this manage button over here like this now just simply click on this create over here now just simply click over here and just simply choose a united state like this and then just simply click on this request over here now just simply choose any number and for the display name just simply type quick lab and then just simply click on this save so we have done with the first change now just simply click on this back arrow like this scroll down a little bit and here you can see dialog flow messenger just simply click on this connect over here now just simply scroll down now here you can see enable the unauthentication api just simply click over here like this way now just simply click on this try it now like this and here you can see we got the option like new session or done so just simply click on this done option like this way so we have done with the two changes now here you can see agent setting just simply click over here scroll down a little bit and here you can see logging setting just simply click on this last checked box like enable conversation history and then just simply click on this save so we have done with the three changes over here now if we just simply come back over here scroll down a little bit and click on the check my progress for the task number four you will get a green tick over here without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue now again just simply scroll down now just simply check the score for the task number six you will get a green tick over here without an issue as you can see we got a green tick over here but the score is not updated no need to worry about that it will take a couple of seconds and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys